blessed good evening to everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday Prayer Watch. Kumusta po kayong lahat na nandito po sa Baguio at sa ibang dako pa po ng ating pong bansa. Sa gabi pong ito, tayo po ay magbubuka sa ating pong mga Biblia sa Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 7 to 9. Basahin ko po. The Lord did not set His affection on you and choose you because you were more numerous than other peoples. For you were the fewest of all peoples. But it was because the Lord loved you and kept the oath He swore to your ancestors that He brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the land of slavery, from the power of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is, faithful. He is the faithful God, keeping His covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love Him and keep his commandments. Ano po ba ang sinasabi ng mga verses na ito? Uh, ang mga mga binabanggit po dito ay ang Israel, no? Israel was not loved and chosen by the Lord as his people to inherit the land of the of promise, not because they were many or mighty. It was the Lord who loves and keeps his promise that brought them out of slavery dahil po sa pangako ng Panginoon sa kanila. Uh, ang Panginoon po ang nagligtas sa kanila sa kanila pong pagkakabilanggo sa kanila pong pagiging alipin sa sa Ehipto nung panahon po ni Moses. Ang pangatlo po nating makikita dito sa mga verses na binasa po natin nang Panginoon po ay faithful at siya po ay uh, ikikip niya po yung kanya pong pangapangako, ang kanyang agreement sa mga Israelita na ang Panginoon ang gagabay sa kanila, ng Panginoon ang magliligtas sa kanila. At for many generations, God will be faithful to them if they will keep His commandments and love the Lord. Bakit po importante po ito mga verses na ito? Marahil maikukumpare po natin ating mga sarili sa mga Israelites na nabasa po natin. We have nothing in us that God would choose us and love us. Wala po tayong ipagmamalaki, wala po tayong kabutihan na dapat pong tayo ay piliin ng Panginoon, tayo po ay mahalin ng Panginoon upang establish niya po ang kanya pong um, covenant of grace po sa atin na tayo po ay iligtas ng Panginoon. Ano? Hindi po tayo pinili ng Panginoon dahil tayo po mabubuti. Hindi po tayo pinili ng Panginoon dahil tayo po ay masunurin sa Kanya. At alam naman po natin na hindi po tayo talaga masunurin sa Panginoon uh, nung tayo po ay hindi pa nakakakilala po sa Kanya. I- imagine niyo na lang po kung na, na tayo ay parang mga ano mga pulubi you know? parang mga outcast walang pag-asa sa buhay at isang araw na lang may nagpakilala sa atin na isang napakamayamang pamilya at tayo po ay kinukup, kinukup ng pamilya na yon you know? tayo po ay inampon ng pamilya na yon at lahat po ng kayamanan lahat po ng mga privileges na meron ang kanilang mga anak ay binigay po sa atin you no know? Hindi po ba napakasarap pong isipin o napakasaya pong isipin na kung mangyayari po sa atin sa tunay na buhay yun, uh, hindi po tayo matatapos ng pasasalamat dun po sa pamilya na yun. Ganun po ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa atin. No? Tayo po ay in niya sa kanya pong pamilya uh, upang maranasan po natin ang kanyang pagpapala. At hindi po ito dahil sa ating kabutihan, ngunit tayo po ay kinaawaan at minahal po ng ating Panginoon. And because of that, we ought to be forever grateful for His mercy, for His compassion. And even sa buhay po na ito, no, napakasarap pong maranasan ang pagpapala po ng Panginoon sa atin, ang kalakasan na Kanyang binibigay, ang mga provisions niya po sa atin pang araw-araw. At um, nawa po sa panahon na ito, maalala, maalala po natin na tapos tayo po ay dapat patuloy na magpasalamat po sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Tayo po ay lumapit po sa Panginoon sa pananalangin at aawit po tayo na isang awitin para sa Kanya. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. O Lord, kami po ay hindi karapat dapat, O Lord, na inyong ibigin. Kami po ay hindi karapat dapat na inyong pagbigyan, Panginoon, ng atensyon, O Diyos. We are not worthy, O God, of anything We are worthy, O God, of your wrath, O God, but because of your great love, because of your wisdom, 
Lord, kayo po ay nagmama- nagmahal po sa amin, Panginoon. At napakasarap pong isipin, Panginoon, na dahil lamang po sa inyong awa, O Diyos, na kami ay naging inyong anak, Panginoon. Na kami ay inyong pinili, Panginoon, bilang inyong mga anak, Panginoon, at mapabilang sa inyong pamilya, Panginoon. Na matama sa Panginoon ang mga pagpapalang pinangako niyo po, Panginoon, sa inyong mga salita, Lord. At Panginoon, sa pagkakataong ito, tulungan niyo po kami, Panginoon, na maalala po namin, Panginoon, ang inyong kabutihan sa aming mga buhay. Pagsimula nung kami nakakilala po sa inyo, at kung pa paano niyo po kami, Panginoon, tinatawid, Panginoon, sa aming pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay. Tunay na, nga, tunay nga, Panginoon, na kayo po ay tapat. Kayo ay maaasahan. Kayo ang pag-asa namin, Panginoon, sa buhay na ito. At kami po ay patuloy lamang na magpapasalamat po, Panginoon, sa inyo. Purihin po kayo, Panginoon, sa pangalan po na aming Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Amen.
your mercy toward me Great is your grace Salamat po Panginoon At tunay nga Panginoon Diyos na kami po ay patuloy na alalahanin Panginoon ang kabutihan sa aming mga buhay At patuloy lamang Panginoon na Kumilis ko iyo sa aming mga puso, Panginoon. At maalala po namin parati, Panginoon, ang inyong ginawa po sa amin. Para po kami ay maligtas, Panginoon. Ang Panginoong Yesus ay namatay, nagdusa, Panginoon, at pinako sa krus upang kami po ay malinis, Panginoon, sa aming mga kasalanan. At sa pamamagitan ng inyong pagkilos sa aming mga puso, ng inyong banal na spirito, Panginoon, kami po ay nakakilala po sa inyo. At pinagsisihan po namin patuloy ang aming mga kasalanan, Panginoon. Dalangin lamang po namin na patuloy niyo po kaming biyayaan, Panginoon, ang pagmamahal po, Panginoon, para po sa inyo. At nawa, Panginoon, naisin lamang po namin na patuloy kaming sumunod, Panginoon, sa inyong kalooban. Na hindi po kami, Panginoon, mabubuhay para sa aming mga sarili. Ngunit kami po'y mabubuhay ang may Pagsunod, Panginoon, sa inyo at pagnanais na kami po ay maluwalhati sa aming mga puso, sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, at patuloy lamang namin ikinukumit ang aming mga puso, Panginoon, Panginoon, sa inyo. Nakilusan niyo po kami, Panginoon, sa gabi pong ito. Purihin po kayo, Panginoon. Salamat po, O Diyos. Sa ngalan po ng aming Panginoong Yesus, ito po ang aming mga dinadalangin. Amen at Amen. A blessed evening po, our dearest brethren, our brothers and sisters, and our friends and viewers of our online Wednesday Prayer Watch. We would like to welcome everyone sa atin pong gabi ng pananalangin at uh, pakikinig po ng Word of God. Kamusta na po kayo mga kapatid? Tayo po ay uh, nakapagdao sa biyaya po ng Diyos ng Christmas season and I hope and pray na... Uh, hindi lamang po tayo nakapag-celebrate, ngunit ginamit ng Panginoon ng Christmas season na yon upang tayo po ay makapag-rest sa ating Panginoon at patuloy po na uh, maihanda ang atin pong mga puso para po sa bagong taon po na ito. Ang atin pong study ngayon pong gabi pong ito ay ipipick up pa rin po natin sa atin pong, atin pong text which is from Ephesians chapter 1 and the title of... Uh, The Lord's exhortation tonight is God surpassing power. Amen po. God surpassing power and I believe that uh this message is very very timely because we are uh beginning a year. All right. We are beginning a year. Bata pa po. The year is still uh it's it's still very very young. No, it has just started and the the best way to really start is here is to remember that it is not in our own strength or power that we would that we could face this year in all its challenges no and all the plans and hopes of the lord for this year but we can only face this year in the mercies of the lord in the grace of the lord and most of all in the power of the lord so let's turn our bibles to ephesians chapter 1 it says here for this reason because of i i have heard of your faith in the lord jesus and your love toward all the saints I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of Him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which He has called you, what are the riches of His glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of His power toward us who believe. According to the working of his great might that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. The three things that Paul asked God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the Ephesian saints were the following. To know the hope of their calling. To know the riches of 
God's glorious inheritance in the saints. And the third is for the Ephesians to know the immeasurable greatness of God's power toward us who believe. That is why God's surpassing power is the title of our message for tonight. Meron pong isang American pastor and theologian, his name is W. Leon Tucker, and he said, he wrote the following words back in 1917. He said, power is the one thing that the church of God needs most and has least. The work of the Lord languishes for lack of power. Amen po. No? And I believe this is always the challenge no? for each one of us as Christians and for the church to not put our reliance on our own strength, but to always be deeply dependent and rely on the power of the Lord. Amen po. We need God's power, brethren, to live the Christian life. No, We need God's power to live the Christian life and to be able to do the deeds that God has ordained for us, no, to do, be able to do the good works that God has prepared beforehand no, in advance for us to do. You remember yung message po ng Panginoon last Sunday about the parable of the talents, no? that those who were given the five and the two talents, what did they do? They worked at once, no, they traded their talents, no, and they were able to succeed, no, in in the work of developing their talents and in multiplying their talents. But my dear brothers and sisters, ano po, let us keep also in mind that it is only by the work of the power of God upon our lives, no, that we would be able to accomplish the works of the Lord. Amen po. We would be able to accomplish the works that God has ordained for us, His will for our lives, only through the surpassing power of God. No? Alam nyo po, Paul didn't pray for power. No, He didn't pray for power to be given to believers. Ano yung prayer ni Paul? He was praying that they may know. No, He was praying that they may know that they will have a divine awareness, no, that they will have a deep knowledge, no, an awareness of the immeasurable greatness of the power of God towards Christians, no, towards us who are believing. What he prayed for was an understanding of the power that we believers already possess. Amen in Christ. Let me share with you this story. In a seminary missions class, Herbert Jackson told how, as a new missionary, he was assigned a car that would start without that wouldn't start without a push. After pondering his problem, he devised a plan. He went to the school near his home, got permission to take some children out of class, and had them push his car off. As he made his rounds, he would either park on a hill or leave the engine running. He used this ingenious procedure for two years. Ill health forced the Jackson family to leave, and a new missionary came to that station. When Jackson proudly began to explain his arrangement for getting the car started, the new man began looking under the hood. Before the explanation was complete, the new missionary interrupted. Why, Dr. Jackson, I believe the only trouble is this loose cable. He gave the cable a twist, stepped into the car, pushed the switch, and to Jackson's astonishment, the engine roared to life. For two years, needless trouble had become routine. Okay? For two years, needless trouble had become routine. The power was there all the time. Only a loose connection kept Jackson from putting that power to work. Sabi po ni J.B. Phillips sa kanyang paraphrase ng Ephesians chapter 1, verse 19, How tremendous is the power available to us who believe in God. Amen? How tremendous is the power available to us who believe in God. Friends, maybe the reason or the reason that we are not able to tap into this power of God is because we lack that dependence that connection with the lord no 
Our daily and moment-by-moment -moment connection with God is the secret for His life and power to flow through us. No? Baka merong loose connection. Okay? May loose connection. Kaya po, hindi natin matap yung kapangyarihan ng Diyos sa ating mga buhay. And friends, we need to do everything necessary for us to always be connected to the Lord. Amen po. We have to do everything necessary for us to be able to no to keep connected to the Lord. No, That is through prayer. That is through the scriptures, the promises of the Lord. No, Anything that would keep us constantly abiding in the Lord. No, So there are things that we need to do and there are things that we also shouldn't do that could deter no, that power from flowing in and through us. So may mga bagay po na i-avoid natin kung itong mga bagay na ito ay makakapag-hinder dun sa work ng Lord, yung power niya in flowing in our lives. Now, let's go to the meaning of the word power. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng Bible pag sinabing dun sa verse 19 na uh, for us to know the immeasurable greatness of the power toward us who believe. The word power in Greek is the word dunamis. And that is where we got the word dynamic, okay? Now, ang ibig sabihin po ng power is it is referring to the inherent, okay, inherent power or ability to carry out a function, okay? When we say inherent, ibig sabihin, kumbaga sa isang person na inherent yung kanyang talent, no? He or she was born with it, no? Inherent, no? Yung kanyang gift na yon, ano? Na pinanganak siya na meron siyang ganong gift, no? Or meron siyang ganong talent, no? Now, when we talk of power, we're talking about an inherent ability, no? Something that is in the nature of a person or ability to carry out some function. Ang ganda po kasi itsabi po rito, it conveys the idea of effective and productive energy. That is why when we speak of the power of God, we're talking about God's deeds of deliverance. We're talking about God's miracles. We talk, we're talking about the wonders of the Lord, no? the mighty deeds of God. Why? Because yung power na yun ng Panginoon ano po, is His inherent ability to do productive things, no? to do productive things, to do great and mighty deeds. In Romans chapter 1, verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. Dito po ay refer po sa atin that the gospel, alright, the gospel is God's power. Amen po? The gospel is God's power. It is the power of God that leads to the salvation for everyone who believes, which means the power of God leads to the transformation of human lives. Amen? It leads to the transformation of human lives. First, by redeeming us, no? by saving us from our sins. And it is a daily thing that we experience God's deliverance and salvation in our lives. No? You know, another modern word that came from dunamis no po, is the word dynamite okay it's the word dynamite but that is not how the gospel at, is at work okay it is not as if that the gospel has this explosive power that will blow us into bits and pieces hindi po ganoon the gospel changes us from the inside out that is its power it's not explosive rather it has this amazing power to change people from the inside out. Because of the gospel, the power of God resides in us, believers, because we are in Christ and He is in us. Now, let, her, let us look at, uh, again, yun pong Ephesians 1. Sabi rito sa verses 18 and 19, that you may know what is the immeasurable greatness of His power toward us who believe. Okay? There are two things that uh, this verse is mentioning about the power of God. It says 
the immeasurable greatness. All right, the immeasurable greatness. No, so para siyang dalawang descriptions, no, adjectives dun sa power ng Joss. The immeasurable greatness. Let's look at first the word greatness. Greatness, interestingly, is a word where we got the word mega. Okay. It is in Greek megathos, no megathos, from the word mega, and it refers to the magnitude or the size of something or the extent of something, no. So, pag sinabi natin mega, we're talking about a a huge, no, a a very very great size, a huge size, no. So mega, no, napakalake. Now we will find that that word megathos, no. Uh, in the Greek Old Testament, it is used in Exodus chapter 15, verse 16. Saan natin ito makikita? Sabi, basahin po natin, sabi po rito, By the greatness of your arm, they are motionless as stone. Okay? So, ginamit yung word na greatness. No? Uh, ito yung megathos. No? Uh, sa Old Greek, sa Old Testament in Greek, no? By the greatness of your arm, they are motionless as stone until your people pass over, O Lord, until the people pass over whom you have purchased. So, ano ba yung ginawa ni Lord dito sa Exodus chapter 15, verse 16 for Moses to write, by the greatness of your arm, okay? They are motionless as stones. Ano yung motionless as stone? This talks about my dear brethren, the crossing of Israel in the middle of the Red Sea. You remember, no? Binuksan ni Lord yung Red Sea. And there were two walls of water, no? Sa, sa, sa kaliwa at sa kanan, ano po? Sa kaliwa at sa kanan po ng nation of Israel habang tumatawid sila ng Red Sea. And the Bible says that, that, that the two walls of water, no? Uh, on both sides, they were motionless as stone. No, they were motionless. Hindi siya, and it, that's water, of course. No? But they were motionless as stone. The greatness of God's power delivered over six million people. All right, over six million people through the Red Sea, and afterwards, it destroyed the entire army of the Egyptians. And during that time, it was the greatest army in the world. Friends, if God was able to deliver the whole nation of Israel through the Red Sea, now, listen to this. Will not God be able to deliver us from our own small versions of our Red Sea experiences? Amen po. Meron po ba tayo, mga kapatid, na kinakaharap ngayon na parang Red Sea, uncrossable, no? na parang Red Sea, we don't know pa paano po tayo makakatawid sa mga sitwasyon pong ito. These are our own little Red Sea experiences. But remember the greatness, ano po, the greatness of the power of God that caused the Red Sea to be as motionless as stone and caused 6 million no, Israelites to be able to cross, to be delivered safely through it. God will safely deliver us in our own Red Sea experiences. Amen po? God will safely deliver us because great is the power of God. Now, let's go to the second. The second adjective to describe the power of God is the word immeasurable. Again, Ephesians 1, 18 and 19, that you may know what is the immeasurable greatness of His power toward us who believe. Now, nakita na natin yung greatness na word, no? It's megathos, no? Megathos. Napakalaki. Now, tingnan po natin yung another word to describe. The word immeasurable. In other translations, ang ginagamit nila ay it is surpassing. It is exceeding, no? So, lahat po ito, mga big words, no? Immeasurable. Surpassing, no? Exceeding. The word immeasurable came from uh, the original word hooper balo. No, hooper, okay, means above. Balo means cast. All right. So when we put them together, ito yung meaning ng ng immeasurable or ng hooper balo. It is. It means to throw beyond the usual mark. Okay, to throw beyond the usual mark. Kaya po exceeding, kaya po surpassing, 
Okay? Kasi po, it is throwing beyond the usual mark. Kaya po, immeasurable, no? So, let us say that God's power, no? God's power is omnipotent. It is infinite. It is beyond what is usual. It is extraordinary. And friends, it also means that the word immeasurable means to excel. Okay? It also means to excel. It is to exceed, to surpass, to excel. Alright? To excel. Ibig sabihin, walang kapantay. No? Walang kapantay. It's the best. Okay? It means to exceed extraordinarily and thus excel. Friends, God's power will never ever stop surpassing our expectations and what we could do in and through the Lord. Ulitin ko po, God's power will never stop surpassing our expectations. And He will never stop surpassing what we could do in and through the power of the Lord. It is God's power that will enable us to be excellent. Amen po? It is God's power that will enable us to be excellent. Siguro po, some of you, uh, kung familiar po kayo sa sports, naalala nyo po ang isang isang athlete. Ang pangalan niya, nakilalang kilala siya, his name is Usain Bolt. No? Sino ba si Usain Bolt? Usain Bolt is a Jamaican former sprinter widely considered to be the greatest sprinter of all time. Okay? He is a world record holder in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and 4x100 meters relay. Ano bang ibig sabihin when you are a world record holder? To be a world record holder means that you have achieved something that no other person or thing has achieved. Okay? You have achieved something that no other person or thing has achieved. And and Usain Bolt was a world record holder. Okay? He was a world record holder. He was an eight-time Olympic gold medalist and the only sprinter to win Olympic 100 meters and 200 meter titles at three consecutive Olympics, 2008, 2012, 2016. He also won two 4x100 relay gold medals. He gained worldwide fame for his double sprint victory in world record in world record times at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, which made him the first person to hold both records since fully automatic time became mandatory. His achievements as a sprinter have earned him the media nickname Lightning Bolt, and his awards include the IAAF World Athlete of the Year, Track and Field Athlete of the Year, BBC Overseas Reports, uh, Overseas Sports Personality of the Year three times, the Loros World Sportsman of the Year four times, no? Wow! Napakadami po niyang, ang dami po niyang achievements. Napakarami po niyang accomplishments, no? Usain Bolt was the tight, ano po, was the tight list, no? Of world records. But, ito po. Ito yung twist. Usain Bolt couldn't maintain that power and strength to run for the rest of his life. Alright? Why? Because Usain Bolt does not have that immeasurable and surpassing power of all the time. No? He doesn't have that surpassing power all the time no, in his body. He was only 30 years old when he met his limits back in 2017. He couldn't surpass his records anymore and he experienced, he began to experience losing. Bolt retired after the 2017 World Championships when he was 30. When he finished third in his last solo 100-meter race, and he opted out of the 200 meters, and he pulled up in the 4 by 100-meter relay final. No, pagod na siya. Okay, he experienced. No, he encountered the limits of his own physical strength in ano po, even though he was considered to be the lightning bolt no the fastest runner of all time mga kapatid hindi ganon ang kapangyarihan po ng Dios all right hindi po siya napapagod god's power is immeasurable okay and god never ever grows tired he never ever grows weary 
Isaiah 40 verse 28 tells us, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. Amen po. The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Ang ibig sabihin po nito, this immeasurable greatness of God's power is extraordinary and it cannot be compared to anything. And this is the power that is available toward us who believe. Amen? This is the power that is available toward us who believe. God is always able to break his record in our lives, especially, okay, when we meet with our own physical limitations, our own weaknesses, most especially when trials and difficulties come, no? And we are faced with our own vulnerability. We are faced with our own weaknesses na hindi ko na to kaya, no? Hindi ko na to kaya. And friends, that's really the most beautiful opportunity for God to display to us that He can work in us, He can work through us, no? And that power of the Lord is available toward us who believe, okay? Toward us who believe. Friends, when our own bodily weakness is set in, when circumstances do not turn out according to our favor, all right? And then we realize na just like Usain Bolt, no, we are not forever strong. We are not forever no able to run that fast no and friends mabuti po kung physical lang eh pero nakikita natin yung no yung weakness ng ating spirit ng ating puso no nakikita natin yung weakness ng ating flesh ng ating pagiging human no ng pagiging tao po natin and friends because the lord wants us not to rely on ourselves but always to rely on the lord no alam niyo po ma share ko lang po sa inyo mga kapatid Every time we would do our online recordings, no, particularly po uh, sa akin po, no, pag magre-record po ako ng messages, hindi lang po isang beses o dalawang beses, no, not just once or twice, but several times that I have felt I will not reach the finish line. Totoo po yun, no? After having uh, studied and Done sermon preparation for two straight days, sometimes three days, no? Na walang tayuan, okay? And at the end of it, no? Pagdating po ng Sabado ng gabi, no? Hindi ko alam kung kakayanin ko pang mag-record. <laughs> Sa totoo lang po, no? Kakayanin ko ba? Because I'm mentally tired. I'm mentally tired. I'm physically depleted, no? And, and the thought na Magre-record ka, parang ito na yung supposedly no, pinaka-last mong gagawin, ano po? Magre-record ka na lang, pero I find myself, Lord, I can't do it. I'm so tired already, no? I'm so physically and mentally tired, hindi ko na siya kayang tawirin, ano po? And friends, you know what always, what always comes to the rescue. It's Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. It's Psalm number 55, ano po? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Cast all your cares upon the Lord and He will sustain you and He will never let the righteous be forsaken. Alam nyo po, every time magkakaroon ng uh, ganong moments, no, it is overwhelming because after the recording, there is going to be another four to five hours no, of editing, of rendering, of uploading, and hindi ka pwedeng matulog hanggat hindi na-upload sa YouTube yun. No? Hanggat hindi natatapos, no? Because anything could happen. No? Sometimes, akala mo na-upload, pero hindi pala na-upload, no? So, hindi mo siya tatantanan hanggat hindi mo nakikita yung link na it has been done completely. Alright? And friends, it is all by the surpassing greatness of God that He is the one who always breaks his record, ano po, in this ministry. God is always the one who breaks his record every Saturday night. Every Saturday night. No? Every Wednesday. Every, nung, dat, nung twice pa po tayo, every Tuesday and Thursday. It's always God who always breaks his record. It is not us. It is Christ who works in us and through us. 
There is not a day when God's power is not sufficient to accomplish what God has purposed in us and through us. God will never stop breaking His power record in the lives of His people. My dear brothers and sisters, are you encountering a power loss in your life? Maybe there is a loose connection somewhere. Ano po, and we need to abide. No? Friends, as we go on in our Christian lives, we realize na yung abide na yon, it's really an active, no? it is an active thing that we do in our lives. Na we will do anything to keep close to Jesus. No? We will do anything for us to always be reliant on the Spirit of the Lord, no, for us to always be dependent on the Holy Spirit to flow in us and through us and and through us to work to do the work of the Lord, you know, to do the work of the Lord through only his power. At alam niyo po, yun po yung sinasabi ko po kanina, no? Na what does it mean, no, to to always abide in the Lord, no? Just like that story, we will do anything possible, no, to keep close to God, to keep connected to the power source. It is through prayer. It is through the memorization of scriptures, the meditation of the word of God every single day. No, it is through fasting. And it is also avoiding those things that could cause us ano po, to lose that power whenever we sin, no, whenever we we uh, become anxious and worried, ano po, whenever we ano po, when we whenever we become allured or attracted by the ano po by worldliness no all of those things no so ang kailangan po natin is to keep ourselves lord keep me connected by all means by all possible means to you no so that really makes us radically dependent upon the lord amen po it makes us radically dependent upon the lord because on our own we can't do it let me end with second corinthians 1 sabi po ni paul dito po sa kanyang Isang testimony sa 2 Corinthians 1. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about the troubles we experienced in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death. Okay? So, ito nakita ni Paul yung pong hanggana nung kanyang no, sarili, lalo na, Every time a fresh encounters with crisis, fresh encounters with with trials, all right? So, ito may bago na namang trial, pero another trial is another opportunity for the Lord to show us his surpassing, his immeasurable greatness of his the immeasurable greatness of his power, his surpassing power. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves but on God who raises the dead. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril and he will deliver us again. Amen po. And he will deliver us again. Friends, he God will always break his record, no? His record in our lives. He will always surpass what He has done in our past crisis, in our past challenges. He will always surpass it. And His power will never ever diminish. And Paul said, On Him we have set our hope that He will, He will continue to deliver. Amen po. So may this word of the Lord put that strength and courage in our hearts to to tap the available power that is in us through the work of the Holy Spirit. Mga kapatid, tayo po ay meron pong mga prayer concerns ngayon pong gabi pong ito. Una po, pag-pray po natin yung atin pong ninth anniversary. Meron po tayong online and in-person service ngayon pong darating po na Sunday. So, ipagdasal po natin na na again, ano po, na makatawid po tayo, no? Pag-pray niyo po kami ni Brother M at yun pong ating team, no, na uh, who, they're working things out, no, uh, preparing sa atin pong church, sa ating center. So, let's pray na lahat ng ito ay makatawid sa kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. Let's also pray for uh our the state of the pandemic right now no particularly pag pray po natin yung mga vaccines na dinedevelop okay so again nakikita natin ano 
yung may mga fears tayo sa hearts natin because of the side effects of the vaccines. Now, again, there's nothing we can do po eh, kundi manalangin po talaga eh. To pray for God's wisdom, His mercy, no? Doon po sa mga, sa mga scientists, no? Mga pharmacists sa gumagawa, gumagawa po sa mga vaccines na ito. Yun lang po yung hope natin ng Panginoon. We don't look at the, the strength in the legs of a man, ano po? The Lord delights in those who hope in His unfailing love. Pangatlo, let's pray for our country, for our government to make the right decisions in purchasing the right vaccines. And lastly, let's pray for God's people to be filled by God's power as we fulfill, as we fulfill doing the will of God and God's work upon our lives. Amen po. So let's come before the Lord. Manalangin po tayo. Our loving Heavenly Father, marami pong salamat sa binigay niyo po sa aming opportunity ngayong gabi. Father God, to hold our online prayer watch. At salamat po, Panginoon, sa inyo pong mga salita, O Lord God. Help us, dear Father God, Lord, to be aware, O Lord, to know the immeasurable greatness of the power toward us who believe, O Lord God. Help us to be aware of this, Lord Jesus. Help us, Father God, to rely on you, Lord, moment by moment, O Lord God. Help us, dear Father God, Lord, to always be aware that we are dependent on you and to always cling to you, to always hope and believe in you, Lord God. Father, we pray that nothing will ever keep us, Lord God, from your presence, from abiding in you, Lord, for apart from you, Father God, we can do nothing. Salamat po, Panginoon. Sa oras po na to, mga kapatid, ipagdasal po natin ang atin pong ninth year anniversary. Father God, kami po ay nagpupuri sa inyo at nagpapasalamat, Panginoon. Father, thank you for your faithfulness upon gospel of grace, Lord Jesus, this na- past nine years. Lord, you have upheld us, you have seen us through, and we give you back all the glory and all the praise, Lord God, for all the deeds you've done. Lord God, for all the wonders, for all the answered prayers, for all the miracles, O Lord. Father in heaven, you have transformed, dear Lord, our lives. You have worked upon the lives of your people, and you have brought people into your kingdom, and this is all because of you, dear Father God. Maraming marami pong salamat. And Father God, as we celebrate, O oh God, a thanksgiving to you, dear Lord, on on Sunday for both our in-person and our online Sunday worship service, Father, we pray, Father God, that you would indeed bless and anoint, O oh Lord, these gatherings virtually and physically. May your presence be manifested. May your glory be revealed, O oh Lord. We pray in a special way, Father in heaven, for our brethren, O oh Lord God, our workers who are working, Panginoon, sa aming pong center, preparing, O oh Lord, our stage design, preparing the food, O oh Lord, preparing the music video, O oh Father God. Ino-offer po namin sa inyo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng aming pong mga brethren, Lord, na na nangangasiwa, Panginoon, at nagwo-work para sa lahat ng ito. Sila po, Panginoon, ay pagkalooban ninyo ng inyo pong wisdom, pagkalooban nyo po sila ng inyo pong enabling, Father God. Salamat po, Lord God. And Father, we continue to pray, Lord Jesus, for the Lord, for the service itself, O Lord. We pray for our worship team. Father God, in-offer po namin sa inyo, Lord, si Brother M., Father in Heaven, si Sister Marga, Panginoon, at ang lahat ng aming backup singers, tinataas rin sa inyo, Lord, sila, Lord, sila Brother Jael, Father God, na, Lord, magpiprepare po ng music video po namin, Panginoon, at lahat ng ito, hinihiling namin, Panginoon, na kapangyarihan ninyo ang siyang kumilos at gumalaw, Panginoon, sa aming mga talento, Panginoon, na ito po, Lord, ay inyong gamitin, O Lord Jesus, for your glory and for the, Lord, the building of your church. Father God, I pray, Father, for your your grace upon, Lord, upon your servant, Panginoon, at tinataas ko po sa inyo, Panginoon, ang ministry ng inyong salita. Ino-offer po rin namin sa inyo, Lord, si Brother Leo, Panginoon, sa kanyang 
paghahatid ng inyong salita sa Church po Panginoon sa Bayambang. Father God, patuloy naming hinihiling ang inyo pong lakas, kapangyarihan, Panginoon, O Diyos. Lord, kami po ay, Lord, kaawaan ninyo, tulungan ninyo, Panginoon, O Lord God, bigay niyo po ang inyong puso. Father, I pray for your message for this ninth year anniversary. I pray, Father God, for your heart, O Lord. I pray for your word, O Lord. Pakita niyo po, Father God, ang inyong vision para po sa amin. Pakita niyo po, Lord, ang inyo pong direction, pakita niyo po Panginoon ang inyong will, O Lord God, sa aming pong lahat. Marami pong salamat Panginoon. Nagpupuri kami sa inyo, O Diyos. Father God, we bless your name. We worship your holy name. We lift your name on high, Lord. Everything is Lord God, from you, through you, and everything is for your glory alone, O God. Salamat, Panginoong Jesus. We pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit, Father God, sa amin pong gatherings ngayong linggo. Virtually man po, physical man, O Lord, we pray for the outpouring of your blessed presence in our midst. And Father, we pray na ang bawat isa, Panginoon, ay patuloy, Lord, na sumamba sa inyo. Patuloy, Panginoon, O Diyos, na magpuri sa inyo at patuloy na mag galak sa inyo, Panginoon, na wao, oh Jesus, kayo po ay maitaas at maluwalhati, Panginoon, sa mga buhay po namin, Lord. Cause your church, Lord, to be fruit-bearing. Cause your church, Lord God, Father in heaven, to be faithful, to be good and faithful servants. Cause your church, O oh Lord God, Panginoon, Lord to, Lord, to be able, O oh Lord God, to advance your kingdom through, in and through the power, Father God, of your spirit, Lord Jesus. O oh Lord, O oh God, we thank you and praise you for the immeasurable greatness of your power toward us who believe. Marami pong salamat, Father God, for this resurrection power that is at work. Lord God, in us who are your children, Father God. Maraming marami pong salamat. Patuloy po kayo, Panginoon, O God, na makita at maitaas sa gospel of grace. And Father God, sa oras po na ito, offer din po namin ang lahat ng mga Lord na mga bagong nakikinig, Panginoon. O Lord God, na nakakapag-attend, O Lord Jesus. And this is our prayer, Father God. Uh, truly, Lord, they will come to know you. They will indeed put their faith in Christ. They will indeed become, O oh Lord God, Lord, saved men and women of the Lord. They will indeed become citizens of the kingdom of God. Salamat, Panginoong Jesus. Manguna kayo, O Diyos. Patuloy naming sinusurrender po sa inyo, Panginoon, ang ministry niyo sa Gospel of Grace. Lord, this is not our work. This is your work. And we thank you for the surpassing greatness of your power, Father God. Lalong-lalo na, Panginoon, sa Lord, last year, to, to, to 2020, O Lord God, that Lord, you have upheld and sustained us, Lord, every time, O God, that we would do recordings, O Lord, for the online ministry, Lord, you have always been faithful, O Lord, to, Lord, to give us, O Lord, to enable us, Lord, to finish and do everything, O Lord God. Salamat po, Panginoon, at kayo rin po, Lord, ang patuloy na pinapasalamatan namin sa pagkilos ninyo sa mga Lord, sa mga buhay at sa mga puso, Panginoon, O Jesus. Kay buti po ninyo, Lord, kay tapat ninyo na, Lord, gumagalaw sa lahat ng ito at sa inyo lamang namin binabalik ang papuri. Salamat po, Panginoon. Father God, ino-offer din po namin sa inyo sa oras na to, Lord, ang situation po ng pandemic, Panginoong Jesus. Father God, we continue to commit to you, Lord God, all the vaccines that are being developed, O oh Lord God, and are still being, Lord, uh, perfected, Panginoon. Lord, we pray for our doctors, our scientists, our pharmacists, O oh Lord, all the trials that are being done, O oh God. Father God, we pray for your grace, favor, mercy, Lord Jesus, na ang lahat ng ito, Panginoon, O Lord God, ay kawaan ninyo, Lord, unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers labor in vain. And we pray, Father God, for your grace, Lord Jesus, for these vaccines to be effective, O Lord, and Lord, to be useful, O Lord God, for the protection, O Lord Jesus, of Lord of many people, Father God. Ang inyo pong ingat, Panginoon, ang hinihingiling po namin, ang inyong awa, Panginoon, O Diyos, sa pandemic na ito, Panginoon, ang kumilos po. And we pray, Father, for your sustaining grace upon your church, that Lord, 
habang kami po ay nagiintay, Panginoon, O oh Lord, for things to, Lord, uh, Father God, for things to roll back to normalcy, Father, we just pray for your sustaining power. Sustain your church, sustain your ministries, Lord. Sustain your people, Father God, to continue ministering, Lord, during these times and to be faithful and to always rely, O oh Lord God, and trust and believe that you are at work, O oh Lord God powerfully, Lord Jesus. Salamat po, Panginoon. Kinokomit din po namin sa inyo, Panginoon, ang aming pong bansa. Lalong-lalo na in-offer po namin sa inyo ang aming pong Lord, ang aming Pangulo at ang lahat po ng mga nakapaligid sa Kanya, Panginoon, ang mga pinuno at dinadalangin namin. O Jesus, na magtagumpay lamang kayo sa mga puso po ng aming mga pinuno na Lord, ang kalooban ninyo, Panginoon, ang siyang magkaroon ng kaganapan, Lord, sa pagpapatakbo po ng aming pong bansa. Dalangin namin ang peace and order. Dalangin namin, O Lord God, na na, na kaawaan po ninyo, Lord, kung saan ang purchasing, Lord God, ng mga vaccines para po sa mga mamamayan po namin. Father God, bigyan niyo po kami, Lord, ng inyo pong group. Wisdom, you are sovereign, Lord, over kings and all those who are in authority. And we pray, Father God, na ang will ninyo, Lord God, ang matupad, Panginoon, o Jesus, sa aming pong pagpapurchase ng government po namin, Panginoon, ng mga gamot, ng mga vaccines, Father God, for our for our fellow men. Lord, we give this to you, we surrender this to you, help us not to complain, help us, Father God, Not to be critical, O oh Lord, of our government, but instead help us, Lord, to be faithful in praying for our leaders, Lord Jesus. Lord, many of our, our leaders are not believers, Lord God, Father in heaven, and it is only by grace, O oh Lord God, that you can put the fear in their hearts to have mercy and compassion over our people. O oh Lord, kayo lamang po ang makakahawak sa puso nila dahil kayo rin po, Lord, ang naglagay sa kanila sa power, Panginoon. And we pray for your mercy, we pray for your grace, Lord, upon our our leaders, na sila'y maging instruments ninyo, Lord, for the benefit, Lord God, of the many people. Salamat po, Panginoon. And lastly, pag-pray po natin that as we face this year, God's people will be filled with the power of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, and as we end, Lord, this on online prayer watch, pinapanalangin po namin ang lahat ng nakikinig sa gabi pong ito, Panginoon. Father in heaven, O oh Lord, we pray that whatever we would face this year, dear Lord, Father God, whatever challenges, whatever new, Lord, new duties, new tasks, new dreams, Lord Jesus, new visions, Father in heaven, na Lord, para po sa inyo pong Lord, sa inyong kaharian, Panginoon. Father, we will not, we will never be able to do this, Lord God, by our own power. And Lord, we commit to you, Lord, our hearts. We commit to you, Lord, our lives. We commit to you, dear Father God. Lord, oh Lord, your people, your church, Lord. Na tunay nga, Panginoon, kami po, O oh God, ay hindi mananangan sa sarili naming lakas, Panginoon. Sinusurrender namin sa inyo, Lord, ang lahat-lahat sa aming mga buhay, lahat-lahat sa aming mga sarili. Tanggalin niyo po ang anumang balakid, Panginoon, upang kayo'y makakilo sa aming puso. Dalangin po namin that you would be able to freely move in our hearts and that, Lord, we will have that absolute surrender O oh God, and trust, O oh Lord, each day. Thank you, Father God. We pray for your empowering, dear, dear Lord. Lord, we pray for your empowering, O oh God, upon your people. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Lord. Father God, salamat, Panginoon. Lord, ngayong taon na to, may mga gagamitin po kayong mga, mga anak ninyo, Panginoon. May mga, Lord, gagamitin po kayo, Panginoon, ang mga lingkod ninyo, Panginoon. And we pray for your empowering dear lord salamat po panginoong jesus oh lord oh god hallelujah we thank you lord sa mga inihanda ninyo po ang oh lord god na mga plants oh lord god inihanda niyo po na mga good works na hindi namin magagawa in our own strength oh lord but you will oh lord god empower all of us lord father in heaven to do this to do these things oh lord god according to your strength Lord, according to the power that works within us. And thank you that your power is immeasurable. It is great, Lord. It is surpassing. And Father God, tinataas rin po namin sa inyo, Lord, kung ano man ang mga Red Sea experiences na aming hinaharap sa mga panahong ito, Panginoon. 
Father God, help us to put our faith in you, to believe in you, Lord, that, Lord, your immeasurable greatness, Lord, the immeasurable greatness of your power toward us who believe is available, O Lord God, to deliver us, dear Lord God, from our impossible situations, Lord. Lord, these things may seem impossible to us, but Lord, there is nothing that is too difficult for you, Father God. There is nothing impossible for you, Father God. Maraming marami pong salamat, Panginoon. Oh Lord, kay buti po ninyo. Maitaas kayo at maluwalhati sa inyong church. Maitaas at maluwalhati kayo, Panginoon, sa inyo pong iglesia, sa inyo pong katawan, Panginoon. At tunay kayo lamang, Lord God, Panginoon, ang makita namin, ang glory ninyo ang makita namin, Panginoon. Ang greatness ninyo ang makita namin, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon. We thank you, we praise you, we bless you, Lord God, for this night, Lord, for this time of worship, prayer, and intercession. All praises and glory we give to you and only to you. In Jesus' most mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Good evening po, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining us here at our online prayer watch. God bless you and have a restful and peaceful uh, time with your family and in your rest tonight. Thank you po.